Chapter 6 The Microphone and Accessories The main characteristics of your voiceover sound come from your microphone. While cheap microphones can get you halfway there, it is advisable to work with industry standards. The advantages are You work with professional tools. Your studio engineer is familiar with established workflows for such microphones. The sound is familiar to the audience. The sound will better match recordings from other professional voice talent in multi-voice projects. They tend to be easier to equalize and compress without artifacts. They tend to sound more detailed and smoother at high frequencies, less sibilance. Whichever microphone you choose, make sure that it suits your voice and that it has low self-noise and high output sensitivity. Transformer coupled and tube microphones can make your voice sound large and lively. However, keep in mind that they increase the self-noise, compress the sound, which can lead to distortion in post-production, or are more suitable for soft performances, narration than louder ones, promos and trailers. Tube microphones also need time to warm up before use, and tubes deteriorate and must be replaced once in a while. This can be frustrating if you need to start recording quickly, and especially if tubes fail during a live session. A word on dynamic microphones. While these are great for broadcast, they lack the detail, the wide frequency response, and the sensitivity required for many voiceover jobs. For protection and longevity, keep in mind that you should not blow into or tap a condenser microphone to see if it works. This can damage the capsule. Always use a shock mount to reduce low rumble and a pop filter to avoid pops, air blasts and spit on the capsule. With universal shock mounts, you can quickly swap the microphone and double mesh pop filters are most effective while not altering the sound.